Stevie Cool 1872 back again. We're here to talk about some transfer news. Kamar Roof and Borna Barisic, two players that I mean after the end of this season, I think we won't be seeing again. But let's hear what they were talking about. And let's start with Kamar Roof. I think we all like Kamar Roof a wee bit more than Barisic, even though I think it could be safe to say that Kamar Roof's cost Rangers more than Barisic. Now, Barisic has actually cost his goals, right, defensively. But Kamar Roof been injured for prolonged periods of time. It probably humped us up the other end of the pitch as well, so let's bear that in mind. But uh, yeah, come on, Roof. He says it's up to the Rangers higher-ups if he stays or not. I've seen people say, oh, just sign him up on a pay-as-you-play. Pay that deal's just never going to work. You know why? Because Roof would just... Roof is going to get a better deal, right? Come on, Roof is going to get a better deal for some other team where he'll just make more money. Now, yeah, you know what, see, if he was a true Rangers man, maybe that deal would work, right? Maybe, if he's made his money, but at the age of, what, 31, Kamar Roof is, there's just no chance that he's going to accept that deal. And to be honest, I wouldn't even accept that deal. Pay as you play. Yeah, look at him recently. He's played at, like, I don't know what his fitness is. The guy comes on gassed. He's made it a wee bit, because the guy's just not very good. And, I mean, is that the future of Rangers, man? We need to sign a, we need to sign a proper striker. None of this pussyfooting about, around the issue. I got it, right? Come on. Kind of got jobbed out in January because Beal splashed all the cash on duds. So he had to bring in loans. See, in the summer, you go out and sign Lauren Shanklin. You know, if we sign... Even if Lauren Shanklin was our only summer sign, I mean, if it, if it solves the goal-scoring option, an issue, that would be looking good for next season, regardless of how many players we lose and don't bring in. But, yeah, injury is still a problem, so you need to sign more players, Rangers. I'm not saying don't do that, but for Kamar Roof... It's an absolute no for me. Not a chance. I've already made quite a few feds saying, don't sign Kamar Roof. I mean, there'll probably be a few more. I mean, I think I'll probably need to make a separate fed about all the players that are out of contract at Rangers and what we should do because there's quite an insane amount of them um, that are out of contract at the minute. So we'll definitely have to wait and see how that's going to go down. But let's move on to another guy that's out of contract. Borna Barisic. Looks like he's off to Turkey again. Another guy who, I mean, I've seen someone said that he was pish till the 55 season, and he was pish after it, and that's pretty, you know, I mean, it's not a good, we signed him for peanuts for Aussie Jack, right, two million, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that, you know, we didn't get our money out of him because he's been a long time servant for us, but I think it's just a simple case is that we never really addressed the left back position till Red Van Yilmaz came in. And then, even then, it's not like he came in and took the place. I'm going to sit here and say, just because you're at a club, longevity automatically makes you like this great player and great, you know. But, I mean, if you're a servant for a club, regardless of how pissed you've been, I'm going to I'm going to acknowledge you, so to speak. Kind of, I'm going to throw a Roman Reigns quote in there. But, um, yeah, like, come on, dog, man. Dog. What, what, what needs to be said, though, it's like, for Bona Barisic's career, I think... Up until like maybe the last two seasons, I think Tav and Barisic were honestly looked at as like equals for Rangers. And we've got, I mean, if you think Barisic is anywhere near Tav and here, man, I've got a question. Are you are you legally, can you legally see? Are you blind or something, man? Because I, I, don't, I don't understand it. But for Barisic, I mean, I'll be glad to see him go. I think he has a shite bag. For the son of a mobster for Croatia, you'd expect a wee bit more of cojones for the guy. That's all I'm going to say. But anyway, guys, that's a quick wee video. Done. Be back tomorrow with more content. I'll probably go through all the free agents tomorrow and see how that goes. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Till then, though. Peace.